Hello everyone, this is Dival20 and welcome to episode 17 of Glacial Awakening with Soren. What's up, buddy? Where are you? I, I made know. a thing. Oh, cool. What'd you make? Oh, another thing. Uh, I made a sluice. Unfortunately, I think I have used all my ore. <laughs> Let's see if I have any ore to use this with. That's cool, though. So, uh, yeah, I guess it breaks those chunks that you get from the from this thing into, into dusts. So if I take the grinder, take... Okay, yeah, so those work. So let's take this uh, tin that I have and I can put it in the grinder. Right. Okay. So the thing to your right. It will grind up and make rocky chunks. And you can take that rocky chunk and put it in the sluice. Okay. So, yeah, you gotta do it. You, you can take it from the grinder. Oh, me take it from the grinder. Tin, rocky chunk. And then chunk. just put it in the sluice. And then watch it go. Oh. Oh, that's fancy. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's so this cool. is, instead of putting water in the automated sieve sluice thing over there, we have a sieve. Right. That's cool. That's neat. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to automate bolts? this soon. I just you want have, to get everything, like, you have You understand. have multiple, you have multiple values here. Volts, jewels, and watts? Is it, is it actually tracking so, all that? Volt is, like, your power production across the line, I believe. Jewels right. is how much storage it has. The consumption is how, like, it's pro progress with the power it's used, and then progress, obviously, how far you end up craft. Sweet. All right, well, I don't think I can gut check me on this, right? But is there any way for us to currently or double that? Uh, not currently, no. Right. The only way that I think not we to can, my knowledge. I think we just have to yeah. smelt it. Right. That's it. Put this in the grinder. Does it do anything? No, yeah. it doesn't. Even JEI says it doesn't. Right. Nope. All right. Then I'm smelting Actually, it. Wasn't the there phones. a? I can't remember. There was something from getting more ore. I thought it was star liquid. I can't remember sub tech like from two years ago, one year ago. Uh. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just gonna smelt it up. I mean, this is literally just iron ore, right? Like iron ore plus time equals star metal ore. And once we get a collector crystal, which is like chapter four, unfortunately, so we're a little far away from it. But once we do get to it, we can we can always you know make it in our base wherever we want. Right. Quest complete. All right. So my 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 top chapters are all done. How you doing? Uh, I'm I'm progressing. You know, I'm doing I'm doing the things. I see that. You have to create a coke create oven and coke. a blast furnace, and then you need steel, and then you also have to create an alloy kiln so we can make electrum. Do you want me to work on an alloy kiln? Yeah, if you want. I could probably work on that. Alloy kiln is two by two by th two by two, right? That's it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So two by two. So I need some infused rock from nature's aura, which is sky stone. Are there meteors in here for AE? Yes, there is one southeast of us right now. Southeast? All right, away we go. <laughs> Have fun. I'm going to put away some inventory nonsense before we go. So you know how um, immersive engineering has wires that you had to connect with the connectors? Yes. And you had to use other wire? In this, in Magnetic Craft, you have wires, but you have one wire coil. And it, you just use it infinitely. So you just connect point A to point B. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. I would like it I if it took durability it. damage instead of it just being infinite, but still, that's cool. Hmm. Let's see. Is there any other connectors or coils? No. It'd be nice if there was like a, a higher tier coil and just transmit more. Right. I just realized I have so much nonsense in my inventory right now that I'm cleaning up. I'm like, wow, I have a lot of nonsense in my inventory. That should be cool to put away. I probably don't need you, but I'll stick with you because you're the crafting guy. And that'll work. Yeah, we can probably put that away. All right, now I'm heading southeast. Uh, and I would say that you are allowed to sleep when it gets dark, which is basically any moment now. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yep. Oh, I think I see the, the meteor on our, on our map. Yeah. It's like right there. 
Yeah, it was fairly close. Have you gotten the the patterns out of it yet? Nope. How are you, buddy? Vein mining makes meteors a little bit more trivial. <laughs> just, just a bit. Right? I got I got one. I got one. How uncool one is pattern. that? It happens. I know. Well, I'll put it away in our mini AE system. Hey, you know what I like most about this? I can walk well, through those wires without taking damage. Yeah, no, that was one of the things the chat was pointing out. I was like, you don't take damage, it's infinite, and it's just like, it's not a lot of hassle. Yeah. For something that likely isn't better than the other alternatives. I mean, like, some people think the hassle's fun, some people don't think the hassle's fun, right? So it's totally up to you. True. Like, like, you don't want things to be too easy, right? Because then it's boring. You want a little bit of hassle, right? I just know Minecraft hitting, like, anytime you take damage, it's not great due to the fact of how it applies that. So you get knocked back, you get potentially into the wire again, so it just won't let you free. Right. Nope, I hear you. Okay. So, uh, with that said, right, now let's go turn this stuff into this thing. So I'll probably need more aura. Um, let's see how the how well this thing repaired the environment. Uh, yeah, not really good. We are really low on aura. Where's those saplings? They're in the mini A. Okay. What are they? The shelving units? They're pink or something, right? Yeah. Do you, do you get saplings from the tree? Yeah. One line in the hopper earlier. Oh, okay, cool. So you don't really need to keep making these, right? As far as I know. Nice. So now, if you break the leaves, I think you have a higher chance. I don't know offhand, but you might have a higher chance to get the saplings back. I would think so. I was sad you couldn't bonsai them. Yeah. Though it makes sense. <laughs> just imagine it just makes aura packets. You just use it. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm just going to try, like, vein mining the wood. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It just it just rained like a serious amount of leaves of saplings. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got about twenty saplings from breaking the tree. <laughs> okay. Go tree go. Do your thing. I bet we could automate that in some way, but maybe we'll see. Oh, likely. All right, so if I need four kiln blocks and I need 16 infused rocks, which we now have, so I'm good. I'm going to call that complete. Okay, and then in addition to that, we're going to need a refractory block and some bricks. And bricks are just four bricks like you would normally expect and some clay. All right, refractory blocks, though. We need four of these. Refractory bricks. Clay, ash, flint clay, and slaked lime. I think we have most of that. I think we have most of that. See, I'm helping Soren with his homework. I completed all my homework, and now Soren has to work to do any of that. I'm helping him. We have a lot of that. Um, so I need slaked lime and flint clay. Crushed flint. We have some crushed flint, but we're going to want more. And then slaked lime. We don't have any of that. Quick lime. We don't have any of that. Crushed limestone. I'm assuming this plays a role. Yep. And then that gets smelted in quicklime. And then that gets soaking potted in water. Okay. So bucket. I have to I have to challenge your decision to place the nether portal right next to You can break it down. Area. The only reason I have it is because I don't have the uh, pickaxe anymore to break it. Liquid clay, huh? So I can have four buckets in there. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So first off, we want to crush some flint, right? And then you should soak in liquid clay to get flint clay, because that's what we need here, right? Flint clay, yes. And it uses a quarter of a bucket. So actually having one, that's exactly what we need, is this liquid clay here. Huh. Can I, ah, there we go. Okay, nice. So let's get the quick lime done first, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so the quick lime is crushed limestone. Melted. I want. I want a gear. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so I'm working on the crushed flint to liquid clay thing. I've got my slaked lime. Uh, I've got crushed limestone, quick lime. My goodness, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things here, Soren, but I'm making progress. How are you doing? I see you're making another good. block. I'm I'm stuck downstairs. <laughs> I'm looking for copper. Do you need help? Oh, um, I see your nameplate. Well, if only you had a gadget that. to help you mine. <gasps> that would be silly. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that That'd be cool? Be not a mod we install. Well, it would also be a mod for 114, so yeah. Like I said. All right, so that, 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 that. One, two, three, yay! You know what, Skystone can go away too. That'll do, that'll do. Right, so now we need to smelt them and turn them into refractory blocks, I presume. Four refractory bricks equal the block. So we need to, Oop. hey, what are you doing? I do like how fast the kiln is though. Yeah, that's nice. I just stretch and people were telling me I'm stretching wrong because I'm not saying like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. They're exactly correct. So. Everything I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, so now let's get bricks and clay. So to get this, we're going to need 16 sets of bricks. So that's a stack of clay. Does clay not smell like that? It does that. Interesting. Stone kiln. No, this should work. Unfired clay brick. Oh, unfired clay brick. Hold on. Uh, bricks, 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 bricks. Ah. No, no, no. It says... Okay, no. Yeah, it does have to be that. So how do you make that? Oh, two lumps of clay. Okay, so does that mean, is my math correct about this? That would be four. 32? Okay. It's about the same. Well, I mean, it's a good, oh no, it's not. It's more than that. Sweet, that doubles. That's twice as much bricks. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Okay. So I'll get us two Oh, that's cute. What's that? Oh, the electric <laughs> furnace? Yeah, I wanted to see that. Ooh, I like the conveyor belt. Yeah, so there's conveyor belts in this, there's pneumatic pipes, and there's a third, a, an inserter. Nice. Yeah. I feel like I played with Magneticraft before. Was it Sky, one of the Skyblock packs? Like modern Skyblock? 
it's been in a couple of packs, but I don't think it has had a lot of things, or at least never really had much of a presence in the pack necessarily. Like you yeah. go use it and they'd be like, yeah, but until a mod pack focused on it, we didn't really see it. Right, right. It's hard to break away from like your standard like these are the mods that I always use thing. Right? Whoa. And like as much as you try to break away, you're like, oh, but thermal. Is also, fast? my favorite thing I asked about the uh, see out is are the items that are on the conveyor belt an entity? And luckily they're not. That's good. Yes. So it's just a visual render? Yes. Good. And apparently it stacks in quite a bit. So it's like a Factorio. In a sense. Well, right. I mean, not quite Factorio, but the way it appears on the conveyor belt right now. That's awesome. That was all that fast. silver you're getting. That's super cool, dude. All right, if I'm not mistaken, that's what we want, right? Now, can I just do this? No. Okay. Two, Opera it is. three, four. Oh, wait, no, maybe, maybe. Hold on. No. Oh, it's two by two by two, that's right. Yeah, I need eight, not four. Okay, back in a sec. Remathing. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, Soren wants to show me something, which has me very concerned. So at the furnace. Okay. One sec. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like perfect behind the obsidian. It's like. Where did he go? He was hiding. I said to fire up some bricks. Uh, what you got, buddy? Ooh, ooh, that's cool. Beep, ooh, beep, 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 it's very Factorio-ish. Yeah, right? And it doesn't only move one item at a time, which is awesome. Because that would be terrible if it only moved one item at a time at that speed. But the fact that it looks like it grabs about six or seven at a time, like, that's awesome. Holes eight. Nice. Perfection, Soren. I like it. Right? Two. Three. Four. I did a thing. You did a thing? Yeah. Do you have an engineer's hammer by chance? I do not, no. So you've made a thing. Uh, the thing will be done. In a uh, I need two iron. Do you have two iron? I do. Can you toss them my way over here? Will do. Thanks, buddy. Yoink! Hooray! Now the quest. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you have to create a coke oven before that'll check in. But, uh, oh, and you also have to make an engineer's manual and coke bricks. But we have the, so to complete the quest, you just have to break the kiln and reform it. You need the eight bricks of the kiln, but at least we can make electrum now. Nice. Yeah, I thought you'd be happy. Engineer manual, oh, let's see. I need more paper. What are the arcane base blocks all about? Like, are they useful in any way, or are they just visual? They're just visual, and they don't connect textures. Sad. Yeah, they look really neat, and when they place next two next to each other, it's like, ah, oh, this is no longer good as a floor, like a mass floor, but it still looks cool. Sure. Okay, cool. Do you want me to work on the coke oven, or? Uh... I mean, if you like. If you're... Uh... It needs heavy what lead plates and heavy copper plates and sandstone and clay and bricks. Where did we oh, get wait, clay actually, from? I, I, that's why I need more copper. I have the iron, the lead plates, so that's yours. Is clay copper. world done? Copper was processing. I thought. Chat, what was I processing? Copper? Get rid of it? What happened to it? Ooh, I think I found a way to dupe clay. Oh? Yeah. The fluid infuser from Nuclear Craft takes a clay brick and turns it into clay with water. And there's a recipe from uh, Pyrotech that uses half a piece of clay for bricks. So basically you can double them, which is cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, was there a way to get clay? 
We can starlight transmute sand into clay. Did we have a way to make clay though? I'm trying to remember. Is it world gen? I guess it's world gen. Right around Y level 56 is like the general place. But I feel like there must have been a better way to get clay, no? Well, to uh, be fair, you can do dirt. In the we moment. strained. We strained for clay? Is that what we did? I believe so. Gotcha. Solid survivalists strainer. Or reinforced survivalist strainer or survivalist strainer. Okay. That's how we were getting clay before. And we don't have a strainer set up anywhere at the moment, right? Not anymore now. Okay. That wasn't where we needed it. Still need it. Didn't think about clay. Oh, did you not make a lens? We have infinite sand now. Uh, I did make a lens. But the problem is, is that requires starlight, like, focus. Um, ah, yeah, Which no. would be over by the temple. So I just... Yeah. It's a long way to go to get Until we can make our own play. crystal. And I also don't think it's that quick, either, if I'm not mistaken. Water Shrayer makes loads of clay. Okay. That's probably why we didn't notice for a while, just because we've had so much. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it should be getting us a lot. All right, so that'll get us the clay that we need for uh, the Coke oven, which will be cool. Blast furnace bricks we also need. That's another brick. I shall get more brick. Cool. Uh, uh, copper. So we're going to need 27 of those. So we need uh, nine sets of blaze powder. What's the deal with the nether? Is there nether gen or what, what is that? Uh, you can't go to the nether. You use it to make the nether crystal, and that's about it. Gotcha. Well, we're going to need four more blaze powder, so we're going to have to figure out how, to, how we got some of that. We have some, so I assume we got it from somewhere. Ah, gunpowder in the combustion chamber. Combustion. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, uh, we can get infinite sulfur. Oh, I like it. So you can take four blaze powder and turn it into a blaze rod. Where'd my combustion then you can take chamber? A blaze go? rod and use that in the grinder and get a fifty percent chance for sulfur dust and then Where four powder. Where'd my combustion change. chamber go? What does sulfur dust do? Got Where'd my powder. combustion chamber go? Oh, it's in the shelving unit. <laughs> I assumed as much. I was just yelling at you for stealing it. Oh. See, if I stole it, it wouldn't be there. What are these things called? Casings. Yeah, iron is the better one. So we've got the stone combustion and the iron casing, right? And then we need to doop-de-doop -doop it up. Do we have a button in here still? I can get almond oh, nether quartz. You can get what? Um, Unlimited nether, nether quartz. quartz. I just put nice. almond sand into the the sieve multi block thing we have, and eventually yeah. we'll get quartz. Sweet. It's a one percent drop. Oh, uh, Hooray, blaze powder. All right, so there's that. And now, do we have another rack? We have some, but we need more. That is cobblestone and blaze powder. Oh, well, that's extra blaze powder. And cobble. We're gonna basically want 16. Oh, cobblestone? There you go, cobblestone. Beautiful. So the six of you and the... Didn't I just mine up a bunch of cobble? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ah.
Don't mind the explosion, Soren. Everything's fine. Uh huh. Okay, so it is fine. <laughs> so why do I not believe you? Okay. So if we want, um, how many of these? We need four times nine, right? Yes. So thirty-six. Is that about what we need for another bricks? And we have 38. Perfect. So we get this smelting. Oh, we need more charcoal. And light it up. Cool. Now, meanwhile, you should have been sluicing it up. Yeah, yeah, we did get some clay from that. I mean, I wouldn't call it a stupid amount of clay, but we've got some. We've got some. Maybe half a stack per strainer on average. Because it's like a chance thing, right? 23% chance of clay. So yeah, that's not too bad. Half a stack per strainer. That's not terrible. Let's just see if I'm not missing another obvious way to get it. Dirt clump from Pyrotech. Doesn't seem to have a recipe. Cutter, do, 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 do. fluid to item transformation, crushed limestone and bone meal. Well, that's interesting. And water? Crushed limestone and bone meal. Limestone. Crushed limestone is just the rock under a crusher. Okay. And then bone meal? Do you not turn into bone blocks? I guess not. That's right, this is the pack that's funny about bone meal, isn't it? One of these days I'll remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manufactory can do it, advanced alchemy does something with it. I don't see the recipe there. So let's do, how about the bone shards? They turn into bone meal, right? Uh, in a crusher, they do. Okay, fair enough. I just want to try it. I'm just curious. Just because I've never done it before, right? So there's that bit. Oh, do you not... Oh, okay, limestone. I have the copper heavy plates. What's that? Copper heavy plates. Oh, thank you. So that should be all the lead and the copper plates you need for the cook bricks. We just need clay at the point. Well, I need the hammer, right? Does this hammer work? No, of course not. We'll need some clay for the blast bricks the next tier. I'll work on sand. I'm, uh, I'm working on clay for us. Okay. I've got two sources of clay coming up. Because I'm simultaneously working on the blast furnace. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm working on both. I'm waiting on clay for both. But I want to try this uh, this method of making clay. Is there a clay burst heap by chance? No. I did not see one. But apparently crushed limestone with bone meal and water equals clay. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, it's from Magnetic Craft, the shelf. I'm going to also filter what's in this, uh... Grab item... Wait, what? I don't want to let this get lost, really. Controls. How did auto get turned on? That's not cool. All right, 
so it's a little bit slow, but it'll work, right? That's cool. I like that. I like that. How you doing, buddy? Getting there. We're gonna want another uh, of those survivalist dudes. Not a problem. Hey, perfect timing too. More clay. Okay, so that, um, what should we call it? The inserter can mm -hmm. pick up items too, like a hopper. Like uh, you can set it so it will drop or grab items in the world. Sweet. Yeah. I may have made a few too many, probably. Is there a way to turn you back into clay? Probably not. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just have to make more clay. It's not that hard to get. Uh, what I do want is more bone meal, though, because I like this crushed limestone method. That's kind of cool. Just need more bone meal. Uh, what do we have by way of bones over here? We have a lot of bones, we just need bone meal out of them. So how do we get bone meal out of these bones? Bone meal, small bones. Okay, not quite what I was going for. Can I get this from bones by chance? Oh, I can if I pickaxe it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's do that. Hit my stride now. Booyah. And then we can crush them. And that works. Beautiful. And then you turn into a bunch of clay. Sweet. And it always pushes it in the corner like that. Okay. So let's see if I've got everything we need here. Because we should be coming up to a pretty close approximation of what we need. So there's my nether bricks. Oh, he ran out of coal? Okay, today I learned. Didn't realize, but don't worry, that smelts quickly. Because of that speed upgrade thing on it. Okay, cool. So do we have like a regular crafting table around here somewhere? Because like crafting tables... This portable one's cool, except for the part where it's not. In that it doesn't do a stack, right? I can't do stacks on it. All right, so Coke oven is... We need 27 of these. And this, we need a bunch of these. Cool. So that's where I'm waiting for the clay bricks. All right, so I think... That. Woo! There you go, buddy. How's that? I like it. Look at Dyer doing all your homework, buddy. <laughs> yes. Go on, tell me how much iron you've used this far today. I mean, I'm just saying, I did your homework. Someone's like, I'll do the bottom quest, you do the top one. Uh, but I think I have to wrap up my episode, so I'm gonna leave these with you, uh, so you can place them in the world. Okay, uh, do you have cool. a hammer still? Yep, there's your hammer, there's the crushing block, and you're also probably... If you wanna make star metal between episodes, I'll leave you the, the linking tool. Cool. Huh? Uh, oh, interesting. We got the... Uh, we actually had to pick up all the blocks. That's not great. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you had to pick them up to I did complete it. the quest, yeah. And you have to reform them. There you go. And now you can make Electrum if you want. Cool. So I guess make a bunch of steel, uh, and and if you want to make some simple machine chassis between episodes, go for it. So it's just, we need the steel, iron bars, 
and we need the star metal that we just got, and the electrum that you need, and then you need grains of infinity, which looks like the standard way of making it, which is fire on bedrock. Okay. Cool. If you open up the kiln real quick. Yes. Do you see a face? Yeah. Okay. Faces and things, buddy. We talked about this already. Yeah, I'm just making sure. <laughs> okay. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.